How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released their latest software update for the iPhone and that is iOS 16.0.2 which is actually the first software update to iOS 16 and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this update. So what's new, what's changed, all the bug fixes and of course let's talk about the battery as well because battery life in iOS 16 is a mess. So. Let's talk about all that, let's begin. And the first bug that I fixed was so, so annoying and it had to do with this. I took a screenshot of this, which you have probably experienced if you are on iOS 16, which in my example here says, notes would like to paste from YouTube Studio. So then you would have to allow paste or don't allow paste. So this permission pop-up was getting so, so annoying because on many apps, it would ask you every single time. So every time you go ahead and copy something and you wanna paste on another app, it would just ask you. So if you wanna do it five times in a row, it would ask you five times. It was so, so annoying and Apple actually identified it as a bug. They said it was a bug and now it's fixed in iOS 16.0.2. So if it asks you, it's only gonna ask you one single time. Another very serious bug was the black screen bug. So many iPhone users reported that when they were updating their iPhone to iOS 16 and actually setting it up, going through the setup process, the screen would get completely black. So you would have a black screen and there was no way around it. You would actually have to force restart the device. And some people just couldn't get around this issue. Very, very bad, very complicated. Now fixed in iOS 16.0.2. Actually, if you are in this situation right now where you can't get out of it, you can simply connect your iPhone to a computer and update to iOS 16.0.2 through the computer and then it'll fix the problem. Another very well-known issue affected only the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max and it had to do with the camera. More specifically, the camera shaking and vibrating a lot resulting in very bad photos and videos in some specific apps like Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok. I personally didn't have this issue in my iPhone 14 Pro when I was running iOS 16 but many iPhone users were having this, again, specific to the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, they fixed it. Another thing they fixed is right here in your settings and then accessibility and voiceover. So voiceover was simply unavailable on some iPhones after updating to iOS 16 and now it's fixed in iOS 16.0.2. Another very serious issue in iOS 16 has to do with touch being unresponsive on some older iPhone models like the iPhone 10, 10R and the iPhone 11. I've had so many people telling me exactly that, that after updating to iOS 16, they just couldn't use their iPhones. They couldn't use the keyboard when they touched on something, it just wouldn't touch or touch on something completely different. So touch was completely unresponsive as a whole in iOS 16 for some iPhone models fixed in iOS 16.0.2. And last but not least, let's talk about battery because of course battery is so important, especially in this update, especially in iOS 16, because so many people are having huge problems with battery life after updating to iOS 16. And what I can tell you is, even though Apple didn't mention, they didn't say absolutely anything related to battery on their release note of iOS 16.0.2, I'm sure they work on the battery on iOS 16.0.2. I'm sure they tweaked it, I'm sure they played with it and they worked on it just because of the amount of complaints after updating to iOS 16. Go ahead, update, test it out and let me know. We're just a few hours in this software update so I can't tell you right now. But again, they generally don't mention battery improvements unless it's something very huge, but I'm sure they played with it because there were so many complaints. And that's it, that's literally it. There are no new features in iOS 16.0.2, which is extremely expected because as I always say, this is, in the end of the day, a 0, 0.0 point something software update. So this is not iOS 16.1, this is 0, 0.0.2, which means this is a bug fix software update and we won't see any new features here, new changes. This is just for fixing, okay? So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual.